happy day my dear kids today we are going to see dividing by 7 from chapter 4 multiplication tables look at the first problem here 752 is the dividend and 7 is the divisor from 752 we have to consider the first number 7 from the dividend 7 is 7 greater than or smaller than or equal to the divisor 7 First number 7 is equal to the divisor 7. So we can divide it. How many times we will get 7? 1 time. Now subtract 7 and 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. In the dividend 752, after 7, 5 is there. So bring down 5. How many times we will get 5 using 7 table? 5 is smaller than 7. So we cannot get 5 using multiplication table 7. So 7 zeros are 0. Subtract 5 minus 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. In the dividend, 2 is there. So we have to bring down 2. We got 52. How many times we will get 52 by using multiplication table 7? We cannot get 52 directly. So 7 7s are 49. 7 8s are 56. So 49 is smaller than 52. So we have to write 49 only. Subtract 52 minus 49. We will get the answer as 3. In the dividend 752, is there any number after 2? No. So we have to stop up to this. Okay. Here 107 is the quotient and 3 is the remainder. 752 divided by 7, we will get the answer as 107 R3. As same as the previous problem, we have to complete this problem also. But after 75, we don't have any other number. We have to stop up to the remainder 5. Hope you all understood when we have to stop the problem and when we have to proceed it. Let me consider the dividend 108 and the divisor is 7. From 108 consider the number 1 first. 1 is smaller than the divisor 7. So we cannot divide it. Now consider the 2 digit number 10. 10 is greater than 7. We can divide it. How many times we will get 10 from 7? 1 times 1 times 7 so subtract 10 minus 7 if we take 2 7 2s are 14 14 is greater than 10 so we should not take 2 times 7 1s are 7 subtract 10 minus 7 we will get the answer as 3 nearest to 10 in the dividend 8 is there so bring down 8 then we will get 38 how many times we will get 38 from 7 table 5 times 35 6 times 42 42 is greater than 38, so we should not consider 6 times. Consider 5 times, then we will get 35. Subtract 38 minus 35, then we will get the answer as 3. Do we have any other number after 8 in the dividend? No. So we have to stop up to this, okay? Therefore, the question is 15 and the remainder is 3. We can write the answer as 15 R3. Hope you all understood how to divide the given number by the divisor. Understand the problems clearly by watching the videos two or three times. Thank you my dear kids.